let's play a round of true or false. So true or false, your hair is alive. If you think about it, your hair hurts when you pull it, ow, but not when you cut it. But it is constantly growing. Well, the correct answer is that your hair, for the most part, is dead, which is why you can cut it, and it doesn't hurt. You look at the innermost, deepest layer of your hair, and you'll see it has one layer of cells that is continuously dividing and is receiving nutrients from a blood supply. Now, that constant division is a process called mitosis. Mitosis is what we're going to go over today. Now, all cells go through changes, and these changes are predictable in what's called the cell cycle. One part of the cell cycle is where the one cell divides into two cells. This is called mitosis. So we're going to go over the stages of mitosis today using gummy worms and string. Okay, if you've got your gummy worms and your string ready, let's get started. All right, there's a great acronym for you to remember the stages of mitosis, and it is PPMAT. P stands for prophase, the other second P stands for prometaphase, then metaphase, then anaphase, and lastly telophase. You can also use this acronym to understand the different stages. So I use PPMAT, P for prepare, the second P for pre-meet, the M for meet or middle, A for apart, and T for two. So those, those are the basic things that are going on, and these are the five stages. So let's go through these individually. All right, so your string is going to represent uh, a few things, but the first one is going to represent a nucleus. So you're going to need to make a nucleus like this. And then these are your chromosomes. Okay. Now the stage outside of mitosis is called interphase. Interphase is the functional part of the cell. This is where, you know, if it is a white blood cell, this is where it's going to be going around and finding pathogens. During interphase, um, the nucleus looks a uniform color. You can't see chromosomes. Everything is just a solid color. But during S phase of interphase, what happens is you have chromosomes. So I'm going to put in three different chromosomes here. And I'm going to have them be different colors. During S phase, they replicate. So they make exact copies of each other. But they stay stuck together. OK, so now we have three chromosomes. And they are um, still stuck together. And this happens during S phase of interphase. So during interphase, your nucleus will look just a solid color, so something like this. And you won't be able to distinguish or see any chromosomes in there. During prophase, you actually start to see the chromosomes condensing. And so you'll start to see these light and dark spaces. The dark spaces are the chromosomes, the light where there are no chromosomes are, where they've condensed. So this is prophase. And also what happens is you get these uh, you get the spindle apparatus is forming and what these are going to do are connect to the chromosomes. So this is prophase. During prometaphase what happens is the nuclear envelope dissolves and these start attaching to the chromosomes. So some would attach right here just to one side. And on this side, they would attach to the other side. So this is prometaphase. OK? Prometaphase, you have attachment. The nuclear envelope dissolves an attachment to the chromosomes by the spindle apparatus. During metaphase, what happens is they line up in the middle. They meet in the middle. 
along this imaginary plane called the metaphase plate. So this is metaphase. During anaphase, the spindle apparatus starts to pull as well as the cell starts to elongate and these then separate. The chromosomes separate and they are pulled apart. Okay, so this is anaphase. During telophase, okay, the spindle apparatus isn't needed anymore. During telophase, they form two new nuclei Okay, and now the cell itself is starting to prepare to separate. These are nuclear envelopes. The chromosomes are surrounded by them. And then it's preparing for a process called cytokinesis, which is the splitting into two cells. This is telophase. So to bring it back to our original question about hair, hair is not alive because the parts on the end uh, are not receiving a blood supply and are not going through any cellular functions. The reason why hair continues to grow is because at the base you have cells that are continually going through mitosis and they're adding a new layer of cells every time. A similar process happens with your fingernails and your skin and other areas of the body. All cells go through mitosis but these cells go through mitosis more than others. So lastly I want you to quiz yourself. I'm going to put up a picture and I want you to make the model yourself or just tell me what the phase is. So what is this phase? What is uh, this phase? What is this phase? And lastly, what is that phase? Hope you liked the video. You can now finish eating all your gummy worms. I brought, bought way too many, so I'll be eating these for a long time.